Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. And in this video, I am gonna show you how to embed your Zoom meetings directly into your website. I could not be more excited about this because it's such a powerful tool for connecting with viewers using live video and video meeting technology. But starting place is your website, which is so exciting. There's so many use cases for this. Let's dig directly into this. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Now, high level, I want you guys to think about this. Public broadcasts on YouTube and Facebook are very different from private meetings. Software like Cisco WebEx and Zoom and blue jeans. Yet both of these technologies can be used together and they're very valuable, especially for video communications. So here at PTZ Optics, you know, we do a lot of live streaming. We live stream to YouTube and Facebook, but we've been doing a lot more video conferencing and bringing the video conferencing actually directly into our live broadcasts, which allows more people to be involved in the conversation that we're having in our webinars. Now, Zoom has obviously been taking off in video conferencing, and they offer breakout sessions, which I really think are powerful, and they allow you to really bring people into more smaller groups that can be highly focused on their needs. So if you think about it, you can start with a really public broadcast webinar using YouTube and Facebook, and you can use that exposure to bring people into more private webinars, smaller breakout sessions, possibly with your sales team, for example, and then create that whole thing. Obviously, don't forget about the on-demand video access and the collaboration tools that are available to you. So just really high level, I want to make sure everyone knows this, is that you can capture a Zoom video conference into a video production software, a vMix, a Wirecast, and open broadcaster software and then live stream that to YouTube and Facebook. And then on the flip side, you can use video production software like I'm using now, right? I'm using uh, vMix. You can use Wirecast or XSplit or OBS and you can pump like multiple cameras, lower thirds, graphics, videos directly into Zoom blue jeans or webex through a virtual webcam source so just something to think about so how do we embed our zoom meetings into uh, our website today we're going to be talking about a wordpress website wordpress is the most popular website so i think it's a good one to start with so you're going to create your wordpress website if you don't know how to do that google it real quick there's a lot of great tutorials on that you can hire someone to do it for you Download and install Zoom Meetings for WordPress plugin. We'll show you how to do that. You're going to need to create a Zoom Marketplace app, and you're going to get an API key through that. We're going to take those API credentials, which are available to those who have a Zoom Pro license. We're going to take those credentials and put them into our WordPress plugin. Then that will create some short code that we can use on our WordPress. It's a little piece of code. You put on your WordPress page, you hit publish, and boom, your unique Zoom meeting ID is published on your web page. So how does it work? Well, you're going to create a WordPress site. You probably already have one. If you don't, go ahead and start one and install the Zoom meetings plugin. I have an example that I want to show you guys really quickly on our website. And this is the back end, but let me show you guys the front end first at worshipsummit.live slash watch dash live. And I've been setting this up for our upcoming live summit, our upcoming worship summit, which is going to have a live broadcast. There's going to be a YouTube live stream and I've got my YouTube live stream here. I've got my chat room here. But more importantly, perhaps, is that I have my whole Zoom meeting here as well. So this is our breakout meeting sessions that we have. And as you can see here, you can turn on your webcam. You've got access to all of your microphones, all of your webcams. You can invite people to the meeting very much like a normal Zoom meeting. You've got your participant level there. You can do screen sharing. Um, you can have the ability to see it, it recognizes me as the host. So I have the ability to mute everyone. I have the chat room here. I mean, this is really, really powerful stuff. I could password protect it. I could have my um, waiting room enabled. I believe I still test that. I can record the meeting in the cloud. So that gets recorded to the cloud. I can have closed captions. 
Uh, all the things that you're used to, there's some restrictions which we'll go into, but that is what it looks like on the WordPress website. That's, and I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit more about that later. So start by downloading the plugin. Go to elearningevolve.com. There's two current plugins available for Zoom integration with WordPress. This is the best one I've found. Visit elearningevolve.com and you can download it directly through the plugins drop down there. And the latest version is 3.1.2 and they did some great improvements with it. I'm really excited about it. Next, once you have downloaded that plugin, you need to install it into your WordPress website. So click add new and you select upload and then you activate the plugin. Now, once you've got the plugin, you still need to go to marketplace.zoom.us and develop an app. Um, it's very simple. Don't worry. Anybody can do it. You just sign in with your Zoom credentials, click the develop button and choose the JWT option. That's all you have to do to get your Zoom app credentials. You don't need to do any coding or anything like that. Just copy this information, your API key and your secret into your WordPress plugin. So here's your WordPress plugin here. This is the settings area. I'll show this on the live website in a second here. You copy your API key, you copy your secret key, and then there's a few custom dropdown options that you can customize uh, to customize the way your Zoom meeting looks on your website. At the bottom of the settings area, there will be this short code here. This is short code. You copy and paste that into your WordPress page anywhere you want your Zoom meeting to show up. Um, it can be on a page, it could be on a post, anywhere you want your unique meeting ID to show up. Now you'll notice that this meeting ID here just says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You need to paste your unique meeting ID in there. Uh, then you just go ahead and copy that code directly into your WordPress website and click either update or publish and it will show up on your website. It is literally that easy. You can see an example at worshipsummit.live slash watch dash live. Now you can, Zoom is now embedded onto your website. As soon as you hit update and publish, now you can access all your computer's webcams and microphones and it really works well in Google Chrome. I still have to test some of the other uh, web browsers out there. Now there are some known limitations you should know about. Joining a meeting directly from a WordPress page may not work from iOS devices because Apple doesn't allow the loading of external iframes and therefore the plugin provides a Zoom app link on the page for users to join meetings via the Zoom app in case it doesn't work on their phone. Now the Zoom webinar module does not support this plugin either. So this is just for Zoom meetings for at this time. And this add-on only supports the features that are supported by the web version of Zoom, and which is basically everything. But for example, you can't record locally on your hard drive. Um, you know, you have to uh, record in the cloud, for example. Um, so there's a couple things there and it does not support breakout sessions. So if somebody wants to join a breakout session with you, you have to ask them to launch the Zoom meeting app, whether it's Mac, Windows, or Linux, wherever their iPad, however they are viewing it. Now, as you can tell, I'm really excited about this because it opens up a lot of doors for hosting private meetings, but having the access to those private meetings directly through your public video, uh, public website. So think about this, comment below, let us know how you might use this because this is very new. I just wanna show you guys how to do it. We're gonna be exploring this on our upcoming webinars, asking our audience who always has so many great ideas on how to use these great new tools. So we're excited to see how, how you guys are gonna use it. We're gonna use it as the entry into our Zoom parties. Obviously we have Zoom parties with our live streams and this will be a great way to get people an easy, one-time web page to use to always get into our Zoom meetings that are happening live on our live streams. So many great ways to use this. I hope you guys find a fun way and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe because you won't become a video production expert overnight. And we wanna help you learn all of the great video production communication tools that are out there today. So subscribe, follow along, comment, and join our amazing Facebook group of users who are sharing all this great tips and tricks. Thanks for watching everybody. Goodbye.